Hey guys, it is Lily here from Crafting for Mental Health. The picture I am doing today is a drawing I drew at my sister's house of her plants. I was watching The Expendables, I think it was the first one, but I'll be honest with you, I got so invested in drawing that I have no idea what even happened. I drew this up, it was just in my normal sketchbook, so you'll see later on it's not the best with inks, but I'm using my scented inks and my Winsor & Newton ones. I will link down the products I use down below, but the topic of this video today is pros and cons of doing an online course, specifically a art course. I am with London Art College, they are really good, but it kind of will be more of a review off of them because I don't, I've don't. i only been with them. Um, I haven't completed my course yet, I've been doing it maybe nearly a year now. But today we could talk about what is good about it if you're thinking about doing it. I didn't really know what to do last year, um, I was looking into it. I didn't really know of London Art College, uh, but I did look at other ones like um, the Open University. I am British, I don't know how it works on other countries and stuff like that, but these are the ones available to me. And there was another one that was an art one, but when I looked at the prices it was so expensive. But anyway, let's get into it. A lot of the pros and cons, they aren't just straight pros, they aren't just straight cons. So you're doing it from home, in a way that's a pro, because you sort of can do it in your own time. It's better if you sort of suffer from anxiety or depression because you're not always forced into it. But then at the same time, if you're not forced into it, sometimes you can get into a rut. So yeah, again, pros and cons. With your own time, I find that a massive pro and con. So I work, I do my YouTube, so I can work around that, but because it is in your own time, you have to be your own manager, and that is quite tricky at times. So you have to be dedicated in yourself if you want to do this. Um, if you are, then it's an amazing pro, uh, pro. If you're not, it can be a con. There is no pressure with it. So there are no deadlines. Some of them might have deadlines, but most online courses do not have deadlines. My one, they say most people complete it in a year, but you have up to two years to complete it. I'm nearly at a year now and I'm not nearly completed it at all. It's because I've got no pressure. So I am guilty of this and I will be kicking my butt into it more now that I have more time. I've settled into getting a good rhythm with work and my YouTube. But the problem is I'm like, oh, I need to upload. I upload every Friday. So in the beginning of the week, I'm like, I need to do this. And if I'm doing an art video, like this week, I had another project, but it's taken too long, so you'll see that at some point. This one, it took me um, a good couple of hours to do. So that's time taken away from my art college. I was doing this as a practice of my art college. I'm currently working on flowers and animals. I have found it quite difficult uh, because at first it was prescription, and then it went on to, it, it's doing a lot of like, black and white work which is good which is also a good pro if you're thinking especially with art because a lot of people are like do I do a course or do I just learn from myself there are pros and cons of both we'll probably make a video on that one day and at the end of the day like it does force you to do other things like I like to focus a lot on color and all of that but it's always good to work with tonal values as well and that's kind of forced me out of my comfort zone into that and it's made me improve and see where my skills are with that. Another pro is that it, it tends to be cheaper. Obviously it all depends on where you live. In the UK, if you of certain ages you can go to college and stuff like that and it's free, therefore that's going to be cheaper. Um, if you are an, I say an adult or you know an adult learner, then you do have to pay. On my one, I paid about 300 something for my course. I'm not getting a degree out of it. I actually can't remember what I am getting out of it. So I'm not getting a degree out of that. But if you do take degrees out of the Open University, that was about nine grand. And I just think that's ridiculous. For an online course, I'm paying for all the materials. Um, I get the 300 pound. People have put work into putting that and you have tutors and stuff like that. I actually think that's a bargain, but nine grand 
nine grand. Like you pay that for a year to go into uni, but you're paying for buildings, you're paying for computers, you're paying for a little bit of resources. So I think that's ridiculous. It is up to you at the end of the day, but I do think those prices are very, very, very expensive. With another thing of being at home and not having to go into a place, you don't have to lug stuff around, like especially with art college and stuff like that. You have a lot of books and normally quite big pieces of paper and art materials. So you don't need to lug that around with you. So that's really quite handy. Uh, the other downside though is if you're not going to a place, you're not meeting new people. So some people that might be really appealing to, but I do think it's always good to kind of socialize, get out there. It can be really uncomfortable Trust me, I've had social anxiety in the past. Luckily, I've learnt to overcome that, but it, it does help. So, like I said earlier, where you're doing it at home and it's in your own time, you can continue working during this. So you can be doing a full-time job, working from home, or being a full-time mum or dad, or you know, doing other courses as well. So there is that sort of plus to it where you don't have to be like oh I need to go to college and all that the cons more are like you don't really have a teacher to directly show stuff to and explain stuff to I find that quite difficult I'm sure I can drop an email but I just find I don't really do that often and yeah it's just not how I do it and you can't really ask advice very well like if you don't know how to do a task it's pretty tricky on working out how to do it, but I think the one-on-one -on -one thing is what lacks. So that's quite tricky, nice in a way that you don't always have pressure from a teacher. You can just kind of do it more in your own sort of style. And I find it quite hard to explain myself, like you can put comments and stuff, but it is tricky because I ex explained to my tutor that um, I actually hadn't been doing it because of the fact that my grandparents had passed away this year and I don't know like it feels weird making up excuses I was like I shouldn't really be making up this excuse and it feels like I'm just going oh poor me but I wanted to say that because I didn't want people to think I was slacking that's really most of the points I think it's definitely a big choice to make I don't regret it and I think I'm more happy I did that rather than college. I think college would have been a bit too much for me. I went into this after a anxiety period and I do think it is good to study art in different ways because yes you can focus on Skillshare and places like that but they're not, you're going to pick what you want to pick and then sometimes that works but I think sometimes it also works for someone to go no you need to do this and you're like oh I don't want to do that and then actually you're like oh that's pretty, that I needed to do that. I really hope you enjoyed this, what do you think, have you ever gone to a online course or do you do a course from a college or a uni and what do you think of doing these art courses? Let me know down in the comments below and if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next Friday. I love ya, bye!